The whip finish is a tool that we fly tires use to secure a fly after we're finished tying it. Right now I am holding the whip finish with my thumb and index finger. Holding the whip finish in this particular spot keeps it from moving. Now when I slide my fingers down, the tool will swivel as it's supposed to. Now for just demonstration purposes, we're going to do a whip finish with no commentary. If we take another look at it, there's really only five steps. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Now to slow it down, I'm going to explain this a little bit. First we're going to hold the whip finish so it does not swivel. Then we're going to lay it on top of the thread, almost like it's sitting on a hammock. Keeping the thread taut, we're going to move the bobbin to just the other side of the vise. Keeping the thread taut will allow the thread to get locked in place in between the hook and the groove of the whip finish. Now slowly slide your fingers down so that the whip finish itself will swivel. Now swivel the head of the whip finish away from you so that creates a nice cross section that we're going to manage with the hand that has our thread to the eye of the hook and then make a few wraps making sure that the whip finish itself is almost parallel with the hook. Now tip the whip finish so that we release the thread and pull your bobbin back to secure the knot, then release. Now one more time really slow. One, place the bobbin on the thread like a hammock. Two, with the hand that's holding the bobbin, keep your thread taut and then bring your thread to the far side of the vise, keeping the thread in between the two grooves of the whip finish. Three, slide your fingers down so that the whip finish will swivel. Swivel the whip finish away from you to make a crisscross. Then bring the crisscross just behind the eye of the hook. Step four, make three or four wraps around the eye of the hook. And step five, once you've completed your wraps, tilt the whip finish so that we can slide the thread off the back loop and then pull with the bobbin to secure the knot. And that's a whip finish.